Hello and welcome back to another video of EUC in Austin. We are doing a group ride here with the Austin One Wheel Club on March 12, 2023. This is during the spring break well, uh, week us. here for this year of 2023 in March. We start off here in the parking lot at Rab House. Okay. And as you can cool. see, everyone is just kind of waiting making sure that everyone who is going to be attending is here. We kind of give people some time to get here. We meet right. all the way to the back yeah, of yeah. the parking lot at yeah, Rab House in lot. Round Rock, uh, and there's a one-wheeler there. And they welcome all types of vehicles. So it's not just for people on a one wheel, the one wheel again, it's kind of a different version of a electric skateboard. There it is again, you see somebody on a one wheel right there. And they welcome any type of rider, whether you are on an e-bike, electric bike, electric scooter, electric unicycle, which there we are, there's some uh, e-bike riders right there as well too. So um, it's not just limited to riding a one wheel. So if you'd like to come to this group ride, usually with the one wheel clubs, the ones that we go on is usually every Sunday uh, at 10 a.m. And they meet, uh, there's two places that they've been meeting. One is Rab House in Round Rock. And then the other part is a at uh, Georgetown, and it's at Booty's Park in Georgetown. So between those two places with the One Whale Club, and it's usually on a Sunday morning. So if you're interested and check it out, um, you know, you may want to come and attend. But I wanted to do this video so that you can see the entire process of attending a group ride, including the entire path of what we do with the One Wheel Club here in Austin. Now, this is not the only um, electric vehicle club we belong to. We also have gone to the events with the Electric Unicycle Club here in Austin as well too and I do have some video footage on some group rides we've been with them as well too so this is going to be actually the first official uh, video that I'm doing here on EUC in Austin with a group ride that is organized like the one wheel club here in Austin the last video I did was with a family group ride um, that I did with a family friends, family friends that we have right. here in Austin, and they have right. kids. So, and that was actually also at the Rab House here yeah. in Round Rock. So you might wanna check out that video um, through our channel. You may wanna just do a search, but it was the most recent video that we did. It was just our own group ride with our friends who are another family here in Austin. So as you can see, we're just kind of, you know, checking time here and making sure that everyone is here. We're going to start getting ready. Everyone's just um, going to be getting to their wheel, you know, whatever they ride. I am talking to a few folks here in the video. There's my daughter on her electric yeah. unicycle. She is riding the mountain climber, the Bagode mountain climber. I believe it's version two. They don't sell that anymore. So there is going to be a new upgrade coming soon from Bagode uh, for the mountain climber. It has different specs. Um, I don't think it has the same specs actually to correct myself. So it's a bit of a downgrade, actually. It called it an upgrade because it's newer, but it's a bit of a downgrade. Um, I believe the battery and the motor may not be as much 
as that mountain climber that my daughter is riding, but it is waterproof, so the newer version. So I believe it's called the A2 from Bagode, so you may want to check it out. But uh, we are still waiting here just to make sure that everyone who is going to be attending uh, has enough time to get here. My daughter, as you can see, is ready to ride. I'm talking to one of the group members here um, who rides the one wheel. And um, I was actually asked on this um, group ride to try out a one wheel. And I've actually, the only time I rode a skateboard my first time was my husband's electric skateboard. I think it was a couple months ago. That was the only time, that was the first time. And I fell backwards because it has a remote control. And that was the end of that. Good thing I had a helmet and I had all my armor on. I actually have a jacket with armor inside of it because I don't like wearing the, you know, the elbow pads. You'll see it throughout these group rides um, on the elbow. I'd rather just wear a piece of item like a jacket uh, with all the armor inside of it instead of, you know, trying to put, you know, these elbow pads. And also what's good about the jacket is that there's also armor on the back. And then I also carry a backpack because I carry our water. I carry my speaker for music. And, you know, if it gets cold, I carry a jacket for either me, my husband, or my daughter. So I'm pretty much uh, the person who has the backpack in our family and I carry all these items. So if I actually fall backwards, then I actually have, you know, the armor in my jacket and then also the armor in the backpack because there is actually an armor in the backpack as well too, which is extra cushion extra protection just in case I do fall, um, which it happens every now and then. You know, it's not it's not normal to fall on an electric unicycle, but it does happen every now and then. So, you know, if you are going to be riding any type of electric vehicle, make sure that, especially if you're a beginner, that you are padded up you are armored, you have the right gear, because it is less money to spend. Oh, we're getting ready to ride here. Less money to spend on all this gear than to have an injury, and then you end up in the emergency room or an urgent care. Okay, so this is the parking lot. We are leaving the parking lot. We are ready to ride. And again, like I said, I wanted to video and document the entire group ride. This is what you're gonna see, the entire group ride with the Austin One Wheel Club. This is during spring break of this year, 2023, EUC in Austin. And this is, I believe, is on a Sunday morning. We meet again at 10 a.m. So there's my husband and my daughter. Like I mentioned, my daughter is riding the Bagode Mountain Climber version two. My husband is riding the bigger wheel, which is the Extreme Bull Commander. It's a great wheel, very sturdy. And I'm on my Sherman Max by Lieberkin wheel, which is a bigger wheel. So both me and my husband, our wheels are very big and they have a lot of battery and a great motor and they are pricey but they provide a lot of stability i do prefer it i was actually on i believe it was last weekend for mother's day on a ride with the one wheel club all, again here at rab house and i i think i do have footage on that i probably edit that video i have so many videos to edit and i decided not to ride my sherman max and i rode my in motion v8s again in motion v8s if you want to look it up it's my first wheel because i haven't ridden it in a while 
And yes, I could feel everything. It's a lighter wheel. It's only 30 pounds. Oh, there's an e-biker right there. That's He's with the group. And um, it got kind of shaky at some time, at some parts, because of the terrain. And it's not as stable as my bigger wheel, which is the Sherman Max. So after that ride, I wanted to go back to my Sherman Max. Plus, my feet hurt after a while on, you know, it's going to be the same uh, path here on the group ride. But this was last weekend for Mother's Day. I was on the V8S. Okay, so here we are. We are on the path from Rab House. You see here on the right, these are some e-bikers here. And I believe this is a husband and wife a couple on these e-bikes. Her husband's a little bit um, in front of my husband and my daughter. So as you can see, you know, it's just not for one wheels, these group rides, this Austin one wheel uh, group ride. If you have an electric bike, electric skateboard, that's not a one wheel, electric scooter, or a, and an EUC, there's someone on a, on a scooter right there, electric unicycle, they welcome it. So, and you know, we've been going to these uh, group rides for the past couple months. And I believe this is actually personally my first group ride with the Austin One Wheel Club. Now, my daughter and my husband, I believe it was, I think it was the week before, or a couple weeks before this group ride in March 2023, where they went, um, I was not able to join them. I had another um, um, appointment in my schedule. Sometimes I do have to work on the weekends for what I do. They went and they enjoyed it. And this weekend, which was probably the following weekend during spring break, I was able to join them. So this is actually my first group ride ever that is organized through the One Wheel Club. So here we are. Um, you've probably, if, if you're a subscriber of our you know, video channel, then you've probably seen this because we have done Rab House a couple of times on the channel so this is basically you know the oh there's someone try to go down that hill uh, and they they do that um th that is a on the left that is a very popular wheel both uh i mean will popular hill for one wheelers and electric unicycle riders to go up and down okay here we are on the right the round rock convention center continuing along i think this husband and wife couple are stopping for a bit but we are continuing along here and i kind of the camera is actually my gopro hero 8 is on my head so if you see me oh this is kenny fort boulevard if you see me turning my head that means i'm looking so um i would just turn my head to the left to see if they were okay. I think they just had to stop for a quick, I don't know if it was a water break or to rest for a little bit. So uh, we are continuing along. And one of the things, if you've never been on a group ride that I appreciate about this group ride and this group, this is for this specific group, is that, and this was my first group ride, an organized one, they actually wait for everyone. So the more experienced riders in the group, the people who've been going to, you know, these uh, group rides for years, they are kind of tasked with the responsibility to just make sure that no one gets left behind. So, you know, these group rides, this particular one, for the Austin One Wheel Club. It's for all different levels. We're making a left turn here. So whether you're an advanced rider, an intermediate rider, or even just a casual rider, you know, we're not going, there is the the leader there who is leading the, the group. You know, he's waiting for everyone. You know, it's not just for people who are fast, okay? They will wait for you for this particular group. I mean, I know there are some other groups out there 
um, that, you know, they may be fast riders. But this is not one of them. And, you know, if you are looking for a group to ride your electric vehicle, whether it's an electric unicycle, an electric scooter, you know, or, you know, something like this, a one wheel or electric skateboard, it's best to check with the leaders of the group to see how fast people are going and what the speeds are for a particular event if you're going to be going on a group ride and he there's the leader there of the uh one wheel group he he he, he's leading this group but he's kind of in the back just making sure that everyone is caught up so they do that and i do appreciate that about this group and one thing um if you don't know much about the uh one wheel the electric skateboard or the one wheel they are limited with their speed so we're not going that fast when we go on these group rides for us as electric oh there's another one wheeler there uh, for us as electric unicycle riders we can go at higher speeds just because of the design the battery um, it is pretty much a personal vehicle but with these um, one wheels that are kind of you know kind of like electric skateboards they are kind of limited in terms of battery life so you'll see this later in the group um, on this group ride when we stop for lunch we usually go to a pizza place downtown in downtown round rock on this particular ride they will actually charge their vehicles because their battery life is not as big and long as our electric unicycles and that's fine it's just uh, the design of the one wheel and the vehicle itself so there is a limitation on the one wheel and if you have any questions about any of these electric vehicles that you see in any of these videos or this particular video not just do you see if you have any questions about you know a one wheel if you're thinking about that feel free to drop it in the comment below and i'll be sure to answer your question as best as i can or you know point you in the right direction if you are looking for resources to learn more about the one wheel or to help answer any questions that you have about the one wheel that i can't answer on my own but you know a lot of people they do enjoy their one wheel and you know when it comes to electric vehicles it's really a matter of preference and you know these electric personal vehicles are just great so instead of you know being in a car you can see so much you can explore so much we're going to make a left here and you left turn here you'll see we're going to be entering the joe b freeman park if you've seen our videos um, on the east brushy creek trail which we have a couple of them already on our video channel this will all look familiar to you but like i was saying these electric vehicles are great just a way to like for me it's more to because i i do have a highly stressful um position and what i do and i i'm around people a lot in terms of what i do so it really is a de-stressor for me and a way to kind of explore neighborhoods different neighborhoods around town and you can also use it as a personal you know electric vehicle one of the things my husband and my daughter what we did one time was we actually took our electric unicycles and rode the metro the metro train um, downtown and then we were able to just kind of ride around downtown and then ride the metro train all the way back now since me and my husband we have bigger wheels now with bigger long longer battery life you know really good motor my husband he actually recently rode his commander his extreme bull commander from our home here in austin all the way downtown and back and the craziest part was that it had actually rained that day 
and there was a portion where it was pouring rain and he actually had to stop and uh, wait the rain out for a while and then it cleared up thank goodness you know and he was able to ride again so by the time he got to downtown he had said it had cleared up so he was able to ride back home um, from downtown to our home here in Austin so it's amazing like what you can do with some of these vehicles that are you know the personal electric vehicles now unfortunately you can't do that with a one wheel because it's very limited in its range and battery life and that's one of the things about these electric personal vehicles if you do purchase one and you make a decision on one you just need to know its limitations because there are limitations to all these different vehicles you know and there's not one that is better than the other it really depends depends on what you're using it for and you as a rider what you enjoy riding like for us we do have an e-bike we have electric scooters we have electric unicycles and my husband has an electric skateboard but for me personally I enjoy the EUC the electric unicycle I didn't skateboard as a kid so that was the only time when I tried my husband's electric skateboard that I had been on a skateboard. And honestly, I'm fine just riding my electric unicycle. I roller skated as a kid and I skied as a kid. And the electric unicycle, oh, here we are at Joe B. Freeman Park, is just like skiing or roller skating. It's been uh, compared to that. So if you've done any of that in the past, it's going to be very similar. There's my husband and my daughter. And here at the Joe B. Freeman Park on these group rides from Rab House to Joe B. Freeman Park, we are going to have a break here. There's going to be a structure where we sit down with picnic tables and we just kind of wait for everyone to catch up on these group rides and it also gives us a chance to talk with everyone um, we're making a right here this is a residential neighborhood to talk with everyone on the group ride and there's you know i i it's a great group if you are in the austin area they really have a sense of community um, trying to include everyone so if you've never been on a group ride before and you're a little bit um apprehensive about you know the speeds or you know how these group rides operate this is a good one to consider because everyone's very open and helping everyone now here there's something here in the way we just need to cross so we are going to turn off our wheels and lift them because with these electric unicycles there's my husband lifting the wheel turning it off and lifting the wheel um, if the electric unicycle is on, the wheel, yeah, it was very heavy for me. It's like 90 pounds. If the electric unicycle is on and you lift the wheel, it wants to, there I am riding the wheel. It wants to continue. So the wheel is going to start spinning. Okay. And there is a shut off button for that on some electric unicycles, but usually we just turn it off. We need to lift it and have it go over something. So here's the structure where we're gonna take a break here and uh, wait for everyone to catch up. And it is break time here at the Joe B. Freeman Park. And we break for a while, um, we're ready to ride now, but it's just a kind of a way to, you know, talk to other members of the community of the One Wheel Club. What I enjoy about these group rides is to gain the different perspectives of the other members, the other riders. Yeah, time for pizza. We're gonna be going to a pizza place um, during this ride and you'll see it. It's the same pizza place from the other group ride that I just posted with our friends here in Austin. And um, it's in downtown Round Rock at Slapbox Pizza. So it's the same place that we took our friends on that group ride we also started at rab house in the prior video to this 
and I think it was titled the East Brushy Creek Trail ride with our friends here in Austin who is a family with kids as well too but like I was saying I really enjoy these group rides because it gives us a chance to gain the other perspectives of the other members of the group there are more experienced riders there are intermediate riders and then there are casual riders Uh, for me I don't like to call it beginner rider Um, We kind of call it more of a casual rider or slow rider. We don't like to use that word slow rider because it's just kind of a negative um, connotation. So it's more casual rider. Um, We we would say, you know, I'm a beginner, you know, if if you want to say that. But usually it's casual rider, um, which, you know, that's kind of the terminology that is used in these groups to make everyone feel welcome. So it's very interesting to just talk to people about the riding experience, how they enjoy their ride, you know, um, their vehicle. And I didn't do this with the One Wheel Club because um, I'm not a skateboarder and I'm not the most comfortable on a skateboard. But in the Electric Unicycle Club, like there was a, a recent group ride that we went I think it was last weekend and there was an electric unicycle rider there and he had one of the newer wheels which is a Bigode T4 and it does have suspension and I've heard it's a great wheel to ride the trails so I had actually asked him you know would you mind if I you know tested out your uh, your unicycle and sometimes they even offer it you know as long as you're an experienced rider now if you're a beginner you do not want to get on someone's vehicle if you're still trying to learn your own vehicle but for us you know we're intermediate riders we're experienced so he was like no go ahead go ahead and test it so i tested it It was so smooth and being a smaller wheel it was really easy for me to actually navigate it and my husband was actually looking at that bigo t4 Um, But things didn't work out. I think that it was just kind of um, on back order with the log and all that. So he ended up uh, ordering the Sherman Max, which is what I'm riding right now. But the Sherman Max was his original vehicle. And then I started riding the Sherman Max and I actually loved it. And then I kind of claimed it as my vehicle. And so my husband got his Extreme Bull Commander, which is very, very uh, similar to the Sherman Max as well, too. It just has a lot of torque. Okay, here we go. Right turn. And we're heading to downtown Round Rock because we're going to have lunch at Slapbox Pizza. It is time for us to eat pizza. But like I was saying, the Extreme Bull Commander actually has torque. So basically what torque is, if you are wondering what torque is, is basically, it's kind of like if you're on some a vehicle, it'll actually let you go right away versus a electric unicycle or vehicle that does not have the torque. Like the Sherman Max, I don't really have as much torque as his Extreme Bull Commander. I can't just go from, you know, zero to, you know, go fast right away. It's just kind of a gradual thing. But if you have torque, you'll be able to go. And it really helps uh, for people who may be heavier, you know, if you're lighter, it's not going to make that big of a difference. Like if my um, daughter was riding his wheel or my wheel, you know, it really wouldn't make a difference needing that torque for her because she's lighter. But if you're a heavier set person, you know, you're a full grown adult and you're trying to get up a steep hill, it will help having that torque so he got his extreme bull commander uh, so that he could actually have that torque for his wheel because my sherman max it just doesn't have as much torque as the extreme bull commander so here we are we are continuing on and this is basically the east brushy creek trail in round rock it's one of our favorite trails to ride Right now we go between this, we also ride with the One Wheel Club 
at Booty's Park in Georgetown. And it's the kind of similar in terms of the trail because we also go to eat pizza there uh, in Georgetown. And I believe I do have some footage of that. So I'll just have to go through, you know, the editing process. But we are heading to Slapbox Pizza in downtown Round Rock. It's a Sunday morning and I believe it's getting close to noon already. We're usually there Sundays at noon where we're gonna eat, usually it is pizza. Pizza's just easier for everyone, so, and it's quick. So it doesn't take that long to make pizza because we spend about mm, an hour there, an hour or so there. It also gives the one wheelers a chance to charge their vehicles because their battery is not as large as our batteries on our electric unicycles. For us, we don't even have to charge. There's some uh, group members there. Those are more advanced riders and they just kind of wait around for people to catch up and then they kind of zoom in front of us. Casual riders, um, that's kind of, you'll see that throughout these videos, throughout these group rides. You're probably wondering, why are they just standing there while we ride past them well those are more advanced riders they've been riding longer than us and they tend to be the leaders of the group just making sure that everyone is caught up okay we are making a right turn here and if you remember this is kenny fort boulevard and we are heading towards downtown round rock we're going to be passing the convention center, the Round Rock Convention Center on the right hand side. Also the Kalahari Resorts as well too. If you've seen any of our videos here on our video channel, this will all look familiar to you because again, we've got a couple of videos on this East Brushy Creek Trail. So if you see that patch of green right here, um, a lot of one wheel, see, you see the going down, they love to go down that. There's, and um, also EUC riders. Here's some EUC riders, yay! Yay, these are EUC riders. And they are also actually part of the Electric Unicycle Club here in Austin. So it's just great to see them. And here we are, we're gonna go make a right. There's a convention center, the Round Rock Convention Center. And we are heading towards Rab, Rab House where we started in Round Rock because we've gotta go that way. We're heading that way to get to downtown Round Rock. So we are pretty much backtracking. So I hope you're enjoying this video right now. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know about, you know, this trail, about doing these group rides. We're kind of stopping here, just waiting for everyone to catch up, um, for everyone to catch up on this group ride. There's my husband, he's smiling. He's very happy that I attended this group ride and it's it's real fun i mean my husband's the one that got me into this electric unicycle and he told me the other day i'm really really glad oh here we are ready to ride that you got into this and that we're doing this as a family because he's really happy that we're doing it as a family he wants all of us to be doing these activities as a family so which makes it fun um a lot of members in the group some of them you know they they not the entire family does the rides and some of them have have mentioned you know trying to get you know you know either their either spouse or you know kids to ride but they don't want to ride so it's really great when you know there's the entire family which is rare um, we're one of the few families that go on these group rides we also met i had mentioned in another video another family with kids which is great um, on these group rides so you know we're always looking for other families to ride um, you know that's why I started this channel EUC in Austin to showcase how we ride as a family but we're always looking for other families to ride during these group rides you know to ride as a group and I think I had mentioned in the other video with our friends 
who ride just regular bikes and you know it was the one starting also at rab house on this east brushy creek trail is a lot of times the way they find other families to ride it's usually through the school but it's more bike riders so you know there are a few you know uh, electric unicycle riders that are families like we met uh, for one of these groups but they are few and far between hopefully in the future we'll meet some more families who are electric unicycle riders or even one reel riders or e-bike riders in the future at one of these events and that's what's great about going to these groups because you're always meeting people who like to do this who are enthusiastic about riding so and if you do have any questions about this group ride feel free to drop them in the comments below make a comment post a question i'll be sure to answer them as much as i can but i really enjoy these group rides you know it's one thing to ride you know and this is how we started as a family with your family and it was just us my husband and my daughter but after a while you know you kind of you know want to ride with other people just to you know have other people to talk with gain different perspectives learn about different vehicles which i really appreciate on these group rides learning about other vehicles that people are riding or what they've tried in the past to ride as an electric unicycle rider, as a one wheel rider. Here's a creek here on the left. Again, this is called East Brushy Creek Trail. So there's a creek there and it follows the trail. Um, so, you know, you're always looking for, you know, differing opinions, um, different perspectives. And that's what's great about being part of the community. So at this point, I am recording this in May, 2023, this particular group ride happened in march 2023 so we've been riding with the austin one wheel club and then the electric unicycle club for the past couple of months and have really enjoyed it and it's funny because it hasn't been that long that we've been riding these groups but i felt i'm feeling that i'm really getting to know the people who are in these groups and it's great because the community is just so welcoming which i do appreciate and again if you have any questions here we are at the parking lot rab house this is where we started in the beginning of this video we are going to be passing the rab house going towards round rock downtown round rock where we're going to be eating lunch at slap box pizza and again it'll give the one wheelers a time to, uh, you know some time to charge their wheels have us have some food in our stomachs before we ride again so it's a really good ride you really get your ride in during these group rides that we've been attending particularly this one wheel club we're not riding fast like i mentioned we're only going you know 10 15 miles an hour here's rab house here this is rab house on the left so we are waiting for everyone to catch up you'll see a lot of us stopping and going stopping and going at particular points it also gives the one wheelers a, a chance to rest their feet because they have to keep their we're ready to ride feet on those sensors the entire time we don't have sensors on our electric unicycle and we can also change our stance which is great you'll see the park here on the right and as i mentioned there's a zip line uh, for the kids um, we are heading towards downtown round rock so um, there's a zip line there i had mentioned uh, for the kids it's a great park my daughter plays there from time to time but uh, we are continuing on and we may or may not have a couple other stops you know just to make sure everyone catch up uh, before we officially get to downtown round rock and have our lunch at slapbox pizza so we're just kind of continuing on here on the east brushy creek trail 
And again, this will look very familiar if you've seen our other videos on the East Brushy Creek Trail. And here we are passing the sign, Rab Park. And this is the public storage you see. We are going through the tunnel. So it's time for the tunnel. And as if you've seen our videos, if you've seen them, you know, when you're in tunnel, you want to go extra slow be extra careful those mirrors are there to check the blind spots if there are other people coming towards you so it's just a great uh ride that we are having today on this we're making a right turn to go to downtown round rock east brushy creek trail it is a bit cloudy but the weather is nice if you live here in Texas, you know, this is the time to ride during the springtime because once summer hits, it's going to be crazy with the heat. You know, we have 90 degrees, triple digits in the summer. Um, I would say, you know, July and August tend to be the hottest. So this being in March, you know, 2023, springtime is the best time to ride. It's also May right now, so you might want to get a ride in as well, too, if you are interested in doing these types of things. Because once July and August hits, you know, either you're going to have to ride in the mornings or, you know, really late at night if you want to avoid the heat. Thank you so much for listening. If you are enjoying the video here, please like and subscribe our channel EUC in Austin let other people know about our channel if you've really enjoyed the content family friends other people you know there's a creek there on the left really appreciate your support and if you are a subscriber of our channel thank you so much for subscribing and continuing to be a subscriber and continuing to watch our videos here of these group rides that we do of these places that we go to ride as a family for our channel euc in austin and here's another tunnel but like i was saying the whole reason i started this channel was because my husband was actually looking for specific trails for us to ride and not only in Austin but other places that we go you know if we took a trip to California you know and he he noticed that on these videos online that people would only do a video of a portion of a trail but not the entire trail so he really encouraged me as a historian as a videographer as a photographer of the family because i'm the one that always has all this footage i have all my gear my camera gear uh ready to go to actually create this video channel euc in austin to document the entire trail of our rides as a family these group rides you'll see more and more of these group rides um, so that other people can see what exactly the trail looks like because there's so much that you can see in a video versus trying to see this online or even try to guess what it looks like and a lot of videos out there on these trails it's just a portion of the trail but if you don't see the entire trail you may not know that maybe the terrain may change you know it's all paved now what you're seeing paved concrete but there could be a portion of the trail which it's not paved you know is your electric vehicle or any type of vehicle that you have your personal vehicle able to go through that terrain and which way are you going to be going you know you know you can just go there and you know do these trails uh but it's good for planning so that you know exactly what the trail is going to be before you get there and you know i hope that you know this video channel is helping you see in austin for you to make a decision whether or not you want to go on some of these trails that we're riding and to give you the full experience of what it's like to ride on these trails because there are some people we're going to make a right turn here it's going to get tricky because we're going to have to cross the street as a group you'll see 
But there are some people who can't even ride these vehicles, you know, due to a disability, you know, anything, you know. So they have limitations, physical limitations, you know. So it's just a good way for people to get the experience who can't get the experience of riding these trails. Okay, we're going to make a right turn here. And we've got to cross the street. And this is a very busy street. So usually when we're at a busy street, we have to cross as a group. So what we're doing here is we're waiting for everyone to get together and we just need to cross the street here to get to our destination, Slapbox Pizza in downtown Round Rock. So as you can see, we are crossing the street now. My husband and my daughter are leading the pack and then uh, we're making a left to get on the sidewalk here as a group and this is North Georgetown Street. So from where we were at on that path on the East Brushy Cra Creek Trail, we made a left on North Georgetown Street. Again, this is a very busy street if you're going to do this. Just be careful. Look both ways before you cross the street. Sometimes cars, depending on who's driving, they may think they have the right of way, but we are still pedestrians as riders. So not all cars are going to, you know, let us have the right of way. So you just got to watch out for that. You just do not want to be in an accident. It is not worth it. Okay, we are going to make a right here on Pecan Avenue to get to downtown Round Rock. Now, we are going into the video. At this point, I actually lost some battery. So, um, it's going to cut. You'll see it. And then I'm going to have to use... I actually pulled out my... <laughs> funny phone to do the the video going into downtown round rock so uh, my battery on my gopro hero 8 just kind of cut out um at this point but you'll see you'll see i just wanted to let you know as a viewer so we are on the street here we're going to be passing a park um it's going to be on the right hand side it is called Veterans Park. It's a very small park here, which is great if you're doing this ride with kids or family, you need a rest stop. There's a playground here, I believe, on the right-hand side. A uh, small playground there. Now that's where my battery ran out. And this now is going to be video phone footage. Uh, we are in downtown in Round Rock. This is me physically carrying my um, shooting video while I'm riding. I do not recommend this for a beginner rider. I'm intermediate, so I had to be extra careful. But this footage is in downtown Round Rock, and we are heading towards Slapbox Pizza. So this footage is actually on my phone. Um, so hopefully, you know, you can, you know, view this footage came out pretty good um this is north lamb passes street here and we are continuing on here with my video footage from my phone so we are just going down the street and you will see um, they're making they're making a comment to the right over there is actually round rock donuts but we're not here for donuts right now <laughs> we are actually going to be eating pizza and some people commented, why don't we just get donuts after pizza? But I think it's going to be too much because we're going to ride more. Here is Slapbox Pizza here. Yay. Now everyone can charge, all the one-wheelers. And we're going to have some pizza. We're going to have some lunch. This is one of our stops. We stop here for about an hour before we head on. There's the sign, Slapbox Pizza. All right, so it's time to eat Slapbox Pizza. This is our break for an hour. And we are done eating now. We are ready to ride. And like I said, a lot of the one-wheelers, I think the majority of the one-wheelers actually charge there at Slapbox Pizza. They do support uh, our group. 
And so they allow us to charge if we have, oh, there's no stairs. I'm not going down those stairs. Um, yes, I was actually dared to go down that stairs with my electric unicycle and I'm not doing that. <laughs> I, I was saying I'm not that kind of rider. So I'm just following my husband and my daughter, of course, on this channel here, City Hall on the right. We are all about safety being a family group riding channel i'm getting off my wheel because it is super steep here my husband thought it'd be just safer to just walk his electric unicycle so we're just walking the electric unicycle getting to a safe position where we can mount our electric unicycle and then we will get back on the electric unicycle and continue riding but you know since we have our daughter with us and i don't want to break any bones safety over anything else i'd rather be safe than end up in the hospital or the er the emergency room ready to ride or even in urgent care and you know if it could be avoided by being safe i'd rather do that than take the risk of breaking bones and being stuck in a hospital okay so we're continuing on we just finished eating we're gonna make a left turn here we just finished eating lunch at slapbox pizza and we are gonna be continuing on to this is south burnett street right here we are going to be continuing on to the second portion of the ride now there are some people uh some of these one wheelers uh, they sometimes, you know, if, if they have a certain one wheel, um, they can't continue on. Okay. We're going to make a left here on park lane, um, specifically the pint because it's very, very, um, it's very limited in what it is. So, you know, the last thing you want to do is ride your vehicle and then you lose battery because then you've got to, you know, get get a cab to the parking lot with your wheel or you know walk your wheel back but your wheel could be very heavy you know and some of these one wheels they're pretty heavy like 30 40 pounds you know so you will see at rab house there are people we're gonna pass rab house that you know i'm just gonna go home for the day i'm done because of that limitation or there are people you know at rab house when we pass rab house from these rides that they're done they're done riding and they're just gonna go home for the day okay so you do always have that option no one you know forces you to ride the entire leg you know we just did the first part of the of our group ride this is going to be the second part of our group ride we're heading towards rap house anyone who doesn't want to ride anymore can go home because that's where we parked everyone else can continuing on and the second part of our ride is actually at old settlers park and this is my first time doing this in a group ride and i was very very scared to do it because we are going to be passing a super busy street you will see it it is highway 79 in round rock but we did it as a you know as a group but you'll see that okay so we are continuing on we are in the parking lot here at lake creek park and again if you've seen any of our east brushy creek trail uh videos you this will look all familiar there's lake creek park the sign for lake creek park so we are here in round rock in lake creek park and we are on our way towards rab house and there is a park here on the right if you have kids if you watched our last uh, video with our friends this is one of our stops since they had kids and and our daughter played with their kids and it's just a good stop um you know to hit the playground you know after these group rides you know or before these group rides or even in the middle of these group rides you know we usually hit a playground when we're with other families okay so we're gonna pass dog depot here on the left and i have yet to take our dog here to dog depot but as you can see there's a lot of places here for the the dogs to roam around i heard it's a really good place to 
take your dogs. And the last couple of times we've passed Dog Depot, it, it hasn't been that crowded with dogs. So there's a lot of space. So if you're thinking about that, um, taking your dog there might be something to consider Dog Depot. Okay, so we are still in the park. Um, this is a nice park just to kind of relax. Um, I had mentioned in another video as well too that when we do our own group rides as a family, we tend to start there in the parking lot at Lake Creek Park. It's just because less people, when we do it, park there in the parking lot. But for the most part, when we're on these group rides and we're at Rab House, um, we tend to um, park at the parking lot at Rab House. So we are continuing, continuing on, and you'll see these apartment homes on the left-hand side. We are almost to the end of Lake Creek Park, to the exit, and we are going to be hitting A.W. Grimes, continuing on on the sidewalk. We don't really do that much street riding as a group for these group rides, whether it be the One Wheel Club or the Electric Unicycle Club. For the most part, we are on the trail. For the most part, we are on the sidewalk. But there are some parts, and you'll see this in upcoming videos, upcoming video footage, that we will go on the street. But we don't do it for the majority of the ride. Now, there are some riders who prefer to ride on the street because they can go faster and you don't... On the sidewalk and on these trails, there's other pedestrians. You can only go at a certain speed, you know. But for the most part, on these group rides, we are on these trails or on these sidewalks so we are continuing on here and again if you have any questions about this trail about this group ride about finding a group to ride with uh, for any electric personal vehicle that you have whether it's an electric scooter a one wheel electric skateboard an e-bike you know electric unicycle feel free to you know drop your questions or comments uh, below if you've ridden on one of these group rides if you've ridden on this particular group ride or with the one wheel club or even with the electric unicycle club here in austin i'd love to hear your thoughts get your comments um, on this video and the group rides uh, love to hear from you uh, don't be shy and that would be great Okay, so we are almost at the end of Lake Creek Park. I know this is the second time I said this, we are almost at the end, but um, it looks like we are nearing the end of exiting the park. But as you can see, I mean, this is a great trail, this is East Brushy Creek Trail. Um, there are shorter trails um, around Austin. The other place we tend to go as a family is the North Walnut Creek Trail. And I've done a video on that if you want to check it out, but it's shorter than this. It's only three miles one way and three miles back, which is six miles. We're going to make a left turn here. And this street is going to be A.W. Grimes Boulevard. So we are continuing on. And again, we are heading towards Old Settlers Park in Round Rock, which is a bigger park than Lake Creek Park park and I actually if you don't know this here's a, a fun fact I actually play tennis there um, I haven't played tennis for a while we're crossing the street here but um, I, I play tennis there with a group all right so we are crossing the street going on here and um, on A.W. Grimes and you'll see the people in the back here just waiting you know, they're more experienced riders. They've been riding for a while just to make sure, yes, this is A.W. Grimes Boulevard, that everyone is caught up in the group. Again, you know, no one gets left behind for these group rides that we've been, whether it's the Electric Unicycle Club or the uh, One Wheel Club here in Austin. Now, this is just our experience uh, with group rides. Um, so your experience may be different. It's always good to talk to the leaders of the groups if you're looking um, at a group, you know, to ride in terms of what types of vehicles are allowed. Okay, we're going to make a turn. We made a left turn turn and we're going to go down a tunnel. 
for those group rides and then how fast are they going for those group rides before you just you know just show up that's probably the worst thing you can do because if you are a beginner and it's actually a group who rides fast that's going to be an issue okay so we are going down this tunnel we are going towards the rab house in round rock there's a sign there for rab park and we're crossing the street. Always want to make sure there's eye contact with the drivers. You could see my, my hand. I lifted up my hand to wave to them to just to make sure that I always do that when we cross the street that they see me. Because the last thing you want to do is it be crossing the street and that uh, car actually moves forward. So, you know, just something to be, you know careful something that uh you want to you know be 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 aware of so okay we're continuing on here and you will see rab house and this is the rab park here on the left hand side and as i had mentioned before there is a zip line right there for the kids so it's a great park you know and you know it, even if you're not if you're a beginner rider if you want to take the kids here, you have a family, and then right afterwards, it's a good way for them to get their energy out. Here's Rab House on the right-hand side. And to just kind of get that energy, you know, out if they don't want to ride right away. And then you can ride, you know, later. Or you can ride first and then, you know, come back and then uh, play at the bye. playground. All right, bye, y'all. So there is a person leaving the group. Um, I believe they had a limitation because they had a pint. So, you know, know your wheel, know the limitations of the wheel. Again, we are heading to Old Settlers Park. This is the second leg of the group ride with the Austin One Wheel Club. We are in Round Rock, Texas. We are in here on the left, the parking lot for Rab House, Rab Park, okay? So we are continuing on, going the other way towards Old Settlers Park. And if you've been on any of these rides or if you know this route, you know, you've done this yourself, feel free to comment below. Let me know your thoughts um, on your experiences or if you have any questions about, you know, this trail, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, get your, you know, experiences on this. Now they're stopping, they're trying to decide these um, e-bikers, whether they should continue it on or they should just stop, uh, you know, for the day. So they're just kind of talking to the leader in terms of how long is it going to take to get to Old Settlers Park. So again, this is the second part of the trail here with the Austin One Wheel Club. And I'm slowing down because I don't know what they're doing. So I'm just kind of continuing on here. And where did everyone go? I need to catch up. So um, as you can see, there's no one in front of me. So again, I need to catch up. And like I said before, no one gets left behind, okay? If you like what you see, this is EUC in Austin, like and subscribe to this channel. Um, thank you so much. Please let your family and friends know about our channel, EUC in Austin. Okay, so here's the creek here on the right hand side. There's some pedestrians. We just kind of want to be careful when we see pedestrians. Like I've mentioned in other videos, when I do see pedestrians, I tend to slow down because the last thing you want to do is be fast and lose control of the wheel. And you never know what a pedestrian, what a small child is going to do, what a small dog, or dogs for the most part will do while you're riding so you know that mantra well better safe than sorry okay where is everyone where is everyone i am trying to catch up to people but i don't want to go too fast i am on the sherman max and i can go up to 45 miles an hour like a car on this 
vehicle, but I'm not going to be doing that since we are on a trail with pedestrians. It's not a safe thing to do. And also because I'm not that kind of rider, <laughs> I am not a speed demon. So I kind of stick to about 20, 25 miles an hour at most. If I go 30 miles an hour, I'm not on a trail. I'm actually on the street, but even that is too fast for me. I am a conservative rider. I am a casual rider. There are different types of riders, you know, once you start going to these group rides. So you'll see all kinds of personalities. Again, this is the East Brushy Creek Trail. There are people who like to go super fast. And then there are people like me who are more casual riders. They're just kind of there to enjoy the scenery, take everything in. And then you're going to meet people who actually just, they like to ride trails. They like to ride, you know, different terrain, not just what you see here, which is concrete, paved concrete. So they may go to, you know, the North Walnut Creek Trail there, there's some, do some off-roading. And that's really what these trail riders like to do, you know, off-roading, you know, whether it's through grass, whether it's through, you know, gravel on a trail in the North Walnut Creek Trail versus just doing the paved concrete here. For me as a rider, I prefer riding on paved concrete. Uh, my husband is actually getting into trail riding and he's been doing those trails um, at the North Walnut Creek Trail here in North Austin. We did do a video on that of the whole trail and then us doing off-roading. So if you haven't checked out that video, you may want to check it out. But for me, for the most part, I do enjoy just riding the paved concrete or the paved street if we have to get on the street. All right. Hi, everyone. I did uh, catch up here to everyone here and we're just kind of waiting for everyone to catch up. Oh, they made it. Yay. The e-bike bikers decided to go on the second part of the trip. Very happy about that. I think, you know, back there, they were kind of uh, talking about it, trying to make a decision. Should we continue on or not? All right, here we are at the Round Rock Convention Center here on the right. Just kind of continuing on. There's the e-biker. It's a husband and wife couple. Now they're behind me and I finally caught up with the group because uh, they waited for everyone. Okay, we are on Kenny Fort Boulevard. Again, if you've seen any of our videos, this is going to look all familiar to you. And here is the Kalahari Resorts. So we are going towards the part in the video where it's a very busy street that we will be crossing. Um, in that other street, you know, that we had crossed, it is less, it was less busier, the one where we were near, you know, going towards downtown Round Rock. But this is a very, very busy street. If you are by yourself, or even if you're with your family, I do would not uh, advise crossing the street. This is only a street, here's Kalahari Boulevard, we're making a right, that I would advise it's okay to cross as long as you're safe and you're in a large group so that you can be seen. But even for my husband and my daughter and us as a family, we wouldn't do this because it's just us and it's a very, very busy street. It is Highway 79 in Round Rock. It is East Palm Valley Boulevard. It is just majorly congested there. There's a lot of fast cars. And if you're just you or your family or in a small group, I don't advise crossing the street, but we are in a large group so people can see us as a group. And you'll see us all trying to get together as a group as close as possible so that we can cross the street all at once. Because the last thing you wanna do is hold up the line there could be cars behind us trying to cross the street as well, too. So this is pretty much, uh, you know, the way that we go 
here, you know, with the Austin One Wheel Club and also the Electric Unicycle Club to cross the street when we are on these group rides, okay, to get to Old Settlers Park. So here we are, and we are going to stop here. This is our stopping point. I believe this is Kalahari Boulevard and Harrell Parkway. You see the group there ahead. And this is kind of our stopping point here where we just stop and wait for everyone to catch up. We have to wait for everyone in the group to catch up so that we can get to that uh, stoplight up ahead. You'll see it in the video so that we can all come together as a group and cross the street together. And here are the e-bikers here just smiling very glad that they came on this group ride again this is harrell parkway and kalahari boulevard we are at the kalahari resorts in round rock very close to old settlers park in round rock getting ready here to cross the street cross highway 79 in round rock which is also called east palm valley boulevard so here is the rest of the group here and we are just waiting for everyone to kind of catch up this is kind of the waiting point during this oh here kalahari boulevard during these group rides that we have both with the austin one wheel club and then the electric unicycle club here in austin so there is the leader of the group right there kind of heading it up uh, these other, um, the e-biker and then the other uh, one-wheeler here, they kind of, you know, stay behind. Just make sure that everybody in the group is with the group. All right, let's go. So I am ready to do this. I will admit I was pretty nervous to cross this major street. My husband and my daughter had done this before, um, you know, on their first group ride with the Austin One Wheel Club. So we're getting ready here to cross Highway 79 East Palm Valley Boulevard. And like I said before, do not do this if you are by yourself and you're not an experienced rider. Do not do this if you are just with your family and you're a small group. This is a very busy street. We are doing this because we are with a big group. We are with experienced people who have done this several times. And like after you've done this a couple times with a group, it's not as scary. But I will say I was very nervous to do this as an electric unicycle rider. I don't advise you doing this unless you are with a big group unless you are with people experienced who know what they're doing so we are just kind of waiting for everyone to get here that's why they're looking uh, there i believe that husband and wife couple those bike riders they may have taken a different route to get to there or they just didn't cross with us but here we go we are crossing here we go ready to roll this is my first time crossing East Highway 79, East Palm Valley Boulevard. I mean, Highway 79. There is Old Settlers Park at Palm Valley. I made it. We made it as a group. So we are continuing on. We made it here at the park. We are going to be making a right turn here going into Dell Diamond here at the baseball stadium. And this is basically, since it's such a busy road, this is the way we get into the park as a group with the One Wheel Club and also the Electric Unicycle Rider Club. You'll see the Salt Lick Barbecue Restaurant here on the right-hand side. We are entering Dell Diamond in the parking lot. And look at that. There's a carnival going on for spring break. Here we are in Dell Diamond. This is why I wanted to actually do this video before the other videos that I have to edit because there is a carnival here. It's spring break in Round Rock in the Dell Diamond parking lot. So it's pretty cool. And I will be showing you here uh, our ride through the carnival. It's actually open actually in the, during it's daytime right now. 
and people were asking us why don't you play a game and i had some people asking what are you riding while i was riding i was telling them well i'm riding the electric unicycle so you know there's always going to be people asking these types of questions i'm waving to those people asking you know what we're doing what our vehicles are and it's kind of brings me back you know it's very nostalgic to see these carnivals um you could actually play those games <laughs> at this point of the day as a kid so nothing's changed much with these carnival rides and these carnival games it looks it looks the same so but i i think the equipment is very hard to find so they've been using the same equipment for a very long time so we're going through the parking lot this is very cool way cool and this is the way that our group gets to old settlers park inside the park so we actually go through the dell diamond parking lot here in round rock to get into the park so here we go and uh, we're going to be entering the trailhead to get to old settlers park so here we go and we're just kind of continuing on and this is the route that we go on these group rides here in Austin. So whether it be the Austin One Wheel Club or the Electric Unicycle Club, this is the entire route so that you as a rider, as a future rider, as an experienced rider, as a casual rider, intermediate rider, and you wanna you know, come along on these group rides, get a chance to see the entire ride. Uh, from our video EUC in Austin. So again, if you've enjoyed these videos, if you enjoy watching our channel, please like and subscribe. Tell your family, tell your friends, anyone who's interested in electric unicycle. And we're not just for people who live in Austin or live in Texas. If you do like our videos and our channel, feel free to subscribe as well. If you do have any questions, you know, maybe you're trying to find a group ride or a trail in another state or another area or another country, feel free to drop your comments or questions below. Um, if I don't know the answer to them, I'd be happy, more than happy to provide resources on where you can you know get the information to help answer the questions that you have all right we're continuing on I'm making a right turn here and we're continuing on our ride here at Old Settlers Park and we're making a right turn this is a very large park in Round Rock and it's a really nice park there's a lot of amenities here in Old Settlers Park like I had mentioned um, I play tennis here I play tennis here with another group um, there's you know batting cages here there's soccer fields here there's a lot of events here as well too for the kids so you'll see the soccer fields here on the left hand side and as we go through the park you'll see a lot of the amenities that they do offer in the park and it's just a great park to ride you know we have done it in the past where you know we parked in the in the parking lot and you know um you know rode around the park but it's kind of nice to actually ride here from you know where we were rab house on the east brushy creek trail to get to old settlers park which is pretty cool so here we are on the trail we are just kind of continuing on here and this is again this is the second part of the ride uh, for this group ride with the Austin One Wheel Club. And as you can tell, there's a lot of riding, you know, we're, we're not just riding a mile or two miles or three miles. And if you do have any questions, or if you're wondering, well, how long is this ride? It's about 17 miles round trip. So this whole thing, because I actually asked the leader of the group, the one leading the group, is he's right there in the one wheel. He's riding the one wheel right there. I asked him, how long is this uh, ride? You know, how many miles? And he said it's about 17 miles, um, which is long for the one wheelers. So that is the reason why they have to 
charge and I think they had recommended if you're going to be riding this if you're going to ride the entire duration bring a one wheel GT not a pint which we saw the other person leaving um, at Rav House because it's not going to make the entire just the battery is not as big it's not going to make the entire ride so that's just kind of the limitations of some of these one wheels so to do this entire group ride if you do have a one wheel you have to have a gt unless you have access to charging because otherwise you're going to be charging okay here's the batting cages here on the left hand side which is another amenity here at old settlers park and there's a playground there are many playgrounds throughout this park at old settlers park and this is just one of the many playgrounds but i believe that we are going to be stopping here um, as a group because there is a restroom here and so it gives you know people you know we did just eat uh time if they needed to do the restroom they needed to you know wash up you know wash you know wash their face anything like that get a drink of water and then you know we would just um you know continue on as a group but this is one of our stopping places here is by the batting cages in old settlers park we are passing the parking lot we are making a left turn to go to the restrooms, give everyone a chance to go to the restroom, do what they need to do, uh, bathroom break. So here we are, and I am just going to continue riding here on the grass. Here's the playground here on the right-hand side. And riding on the grass here, doing a little bit of off-roading myself in old settlers park there's some batting cages again on the right hand side uh while we wait for everyone to finish up do what they need to do grab some water take a bathroom break so again this is one of our stopping points here at old settlers park and now everyone is ready to ride so we are moving on we are ready to roll. I am ready to go. I'm just mounting here. When, when my, my, my head goes down, that means I'm mounting because I always make sure I have to look at my pedals because sometimes my pedals are up and they have to be down flat. And I've done it where one of my pedals is actually up and then one of my pedals is down. I'm riding one one legged. It's, it's super crazy. Okay, so we're continuing on. I've mounted um, again. EUC in Austin. We're here in Old Settlers Park um, on a group ride with the Austin One Wheel Club. This is the second portion of our ride. This is after lunch. I believe this is in the early afternoon on a Sunday during spring break in March 2023. So we are continuing on here towards old settlers park and we are going towards the lakeside pavilion if you're not familiar with old settlers park there's actually an area in old settlers park by a lake it's great it's scenic but i will warn you if you're going to be riding in this area it is very very crowded especially if you go during the weekend we're gonna make a right turn here i remember my husband and my daughter when we first did this you know i think it was last year when we went on our own and we parked in the parking lot it was very very difficult to do this area because there are so many pedestrians and the good thing is we've already had experience on our electric unicycles we were not just okay we're brand new we may run into something to some money and i wouldn't recommend doing this if you're still you know a beginner so we are heading to lakeside pavilion to be around pedestrians in such a you know small space because you know as you can see it's a bit more narrower here this particular trail and there are pedestrians going both ways so you just need to be more cautious and be more you know aware if you are riding you know these trails here because there's going to be a lot of people in this area so we are heading towards the lakeside pavilion I'm, I'm sorry not lakeside lakeview pavilion here in old settlers park 
and you will see there's a lake ahead. I don't know if you could see it, but there is the body of water ahead. We're going to make a right hand turn here. And this is our normal route with the Austin One Wheel Club, with the Electric Unicycle Club here in Austin. So let me know if you've done this. What is your experience if you've done it as a rider? And I'm going to do a little bit of off-roading here. So you can continue on that concrete path or you can do what we're doing right now, which is off-roading, which actually gives you a pretty good view here on the left of the lake. As you can see, there's the lake there on the left hand side. So it's a really nice view. It's a good place to stop. Again, this is Old Settlers Park, EUC in Austin. It's really, really nice. Really good day. Not too hot here in the springtime, March 2023 at Old Settlers Park in Round Rock. And if you see on here on the right hand side, a lot of um, mostly electric unicycle riders they like to go down this hill on the right hand side it's just kind of you know just one of the thrills and and it's the people who like to do off-roading and the trails and stuff like that they like to go down the, that hill and i have some video footage that i have to go through of electric unicycle riders actually going down that specific hill here at Old Settlers Park. It's just a popular area for them to go. And that's one of the things why, you know, I'm showing you why we have this video channel so you can see, okay, what are the areas that people actually like depending on what they like to do, you know? And mentioned trail riders liking to go down that hill. So, you know, just one of the things about these videos. Oh, there goes the e-bikers. They're going down that way. So we're going towards the paved trail here. But um, my husband and my daughter, they want to ride the entire thing. They don't want to go down so much because it is steep. In some later videos, you'll see them going down the entire hill. We're making a left-hand turn down that hill. And honestly, it does feel like a roller coaster ride. Oh, uh, here we are going downhill. This is a small hill for me. Um, it, it does feel like a roller coaster ride. We will do that in future videos. And I do have the video footage. I just have to go through all the video and edit it and do the commentary. So like what I'm doing right now. So we're continuing on here. And we are, again, we are at the Lake Lakeview Pavilion here in Round Rock at the Old Settlers Park. And this is going to be one of our stops. And, um, you know, it's just kind of a way to give us a break. And also for me as a historian to actually change the battery on my camera, my GoPro Hero 8. That's just one of the things that I'm constantly monitoring the battery on my GoPro Hero 8 because since I am filming now, we're making a right hand turn. Since I'm filming now in 4K, my battery life is not going to be as long as when I had filmed in 1080, uh, 1080p. So here's Yonder's Point. This is the metal structure where we are going to take a break. It's also going to give me a time to change out the battery on my GoPro Hero 8 and just kind of have a stop here, just kind of a little rest stop. There's some swings there, uh, bench swings right there that we swing on, which is really great and fun and just kind of hanging out here. So you see everyone just kind of hanging out. They need to get water. I think at this point in the video, everyone's getting ready to ride again. I had stopped it and it is super windy here. Again, this place is called Yonder's Point, this area of Old Settlers Park in Round Rock. And this is one of our stopping places for a rest stop with the electric unicycle and also the Austin One Wheel uh, Club as well, too. Okay, we are ready to ride. I am on the grass, so I am doing some more off-roading here, continuing on following my daughter and my husband waiting for everyone to, yep, the grass is very smooth, everyone to go. And this is going to be the last part of the ride. We are heading back to Rab House. Let's go. So you will see here, it's very scenic. You can see the lake there ahead of you. And we are making a right-hand turn, doing some off-roading here 
on the grass. Sometimes what my husband does, we are here with UC and Austin with the One Wheel Club. He actually will go to the side, like on the grass, if there are just too many pedestrians on that path, because we just don't want us, us to crash or have an accident when there are just too many pedestrians. So that's why you see him going to the right on the grass when there's just too many people on that uh, path here at Old Settlers Park. And like I had mentioned, you know, there are a lot of people here at this park so as an electric unicycle rider as a one wheel rider as an e-bike rider or scooter rider of an electric vehicle you just have to be aware of that because the last thing we want to do is get in an accident or go too fast you see there a a little uh, a little girl or run into something someone um, where when we could have avoided it because again better safe than sorry and you know we just don't want to give a bad name to us as electric vehicle riders. Okay, so here, again, this is Lakeside Pavilion here at Old Settlers Park. So if you're looking for a nice area to kind of ride around or maybe do some people watching, this is a nice area here at Old Settlers Park just to kind of relax. We do see a lot of like people having birthday parties here. I believe you can rent out the area where there's a lot of benches and you know there's a blue sky it's nice look at the sky there and we'll be passing this area i believe you can rent this out for like birthday parties or if you want to hold an event with a group which is kind of nice and you're by the lake you know anything by waterfront is nice as long as the weather's nice and i think we're going to make a right hand turn at this point in the video when we had started you know i was mounting my electric unicycle it was very windy here's another playground here on the right hand side like i mentioned there are a lot of playgrounds here um, in Old Settlers Park. So if there's a playground that's very crowded, you can go to another playground here in the park. This is Lakeside Pavilion here. This is the area I was saying that you could rent out for parties or events or groups. Check with the city of Round Rock if you do want to rent that out. Okay, so we are actually on our way heading out of the Old Settlers Park. We're just kind of backtracking here. And I believe we're going to go back towards Dell Diamond, the Dell Diamond parking lot. So I think you are going to see all those carnival rides and the carnival on our way out here. So that's kind of where we're heading. So we're almost done with the video. Um, I actually did not have enough battery to, you know, get everything riding back to Rab House. I think this video finishes after we cross i think we crossed again highway 79 oh boba time my daughter loves boba so every time after these rides she wants a boba so we were having a conversation about boba but anyways um yeah at that time my battery ran out i only had a small amount of batteries after this ride, I believe my husband bought me more batteries. So now on my GoPro Hero 8, I have about four batteries. So if one battery, you know, I need, I get another one. But during this ride, I think I only had a limited amount of batteries. I believe I only had two batteries, actually. And now I have four batteries for my GoPro Hero 8. So you won't see everything back to Rab House, but you'll see enough that if you've seen our other videos on East Brushy Creek Trail, how to get back. And I have future, we're crossing the street here. I have future videos of future ri group rides with this one wheel club and also the electric unicycle club here in Austin where you'll get everything. So it's just, this is kind of earlier uh, before I got more batteries. You know, you learn this stuff through experience. I ran out of battery, now what do I do? Well, this is the video footage I have. And, uh, you know, to be honest, I mean, we've been going to, yeah, it's super bumpy in this area. We've been going on these rides and it's the same, um, it's the same paths that we're taking. So just because it's not in this video, video, it'll probably be in a future video as well too. But one thing I did want to say, we are trying to kind of mix it up too, 
with you know both groups there's disc golf there on the left hand side so in the future it may change uh where we ride uh for now a lot of times it's going to be rab house uh with both groups the austin one wheel club or the electric unicycle club and then booties park which is the main area in georgetown where the austin one wheel group rides okay for the most part but it's probably going to change up in the future um depending on you know where everyone wants to ride and the consensus with the group so don't worry um i'll probably have another video in the future of this entire ride from where this stops where i ran out of battery okay we're going to make a right hand turn after we crossed highway 79 again to get to Rab House from the parking lot. But it's not that hard to figure it out. And also if you've seen some of our other vehicles, um, I'm sorry, vehicles, some of our other videos, here's a soccer field on the right hand side. You may be able to piece it together, but don't worry. I will have future videos of the entire ride because now I have four batteries and that should be good to go. And enough for me on a GoPro Hero 8. And for now, it works. Um, in my other videos, I had mentioned my husband had, had bought this GoPro Hero 8 years ago. And it's just been sitting in my drawer here, in my desk drawer. And now I have a reason to use it. And honestly, it's been a really good, handy, sturdy, it does what it does, camera um, to film the footage. So I have no complaints. The only thing I have a complaint with this GoPro Hero 8 is just, it just doesn't do well when it's low light situations. Uh, in the evenings, I do have some video footage of us riding with these groups in the evenings. We're going to make a left-hand turn, but you can't really see that much, but I just kind of wanted to show you, you know, what's it like to ride in the evening so i may be getting a new camera for that in the future we'll see left hand turn here again we are backtracking we are still i believe we are still in old settlers park we're heading towards dell diamond you'll see the carnival the carnival rides um, that we had passed in the earlier part of this video and like I had mentioned before this is actually during spring break in March 2023 I don't know if they do this every year for spring break if you have a question about that carnival we are leaving Old Settlers Park now but it was here for this spring break which is in march 2023 so if you have any questions about that you may want to check with the city of round rock in the future if you'd like to go to this carnival in the future to see if it's even going to be here in the dell diamond parking lot here in round rock at old settlers park okay so here we are at dell diamond we are going to the parking lot here we are heading towards a parking lot here and making a right hand turn here just being very cautious and one thing about parking lots you just want to make sure there's tends to be a lot of cars you know in these parking lots you know people are backing out people are trying to get out of there people are coming into the parking lot just be very cautious as a rider and here is are we at the parking lot here in dell diamond and my husband and my daughter are making their way towards these carnival rides so as you can see here is a carnival again during spring break here march 2023 we are with the austin one wheel club on our group ride uh, from the rab house to downtown round rock to old settlers park and back to rab house so pretty cool just wanted to share with you this scenery here of the carnival and uh if you've been to this carnival before or this particular carnival let me know in the comments let me know uh what you enjoyed about it or you know something that um is good for families i don't know what the price point is of this type of carnival is it decent or is it overpriced how's the food 
you know, I'm thinking there's probably just carnival food there, you know, but, you know, something to think about for the kids. Okay, here's the Salt Lake Barbecue Restaurant here on the left-hand side. And we are leaving Old Settlers Park in Round Rock. And we are going to be crossing, I believe, Highway 79 again. So we've got to get ourselves together as a group. Here's a stop sign. We are going to be making a left here. We just need to make sure that it is safe before we cross. And usually what happens is an experienced rider crosses first to make sure it's safe so that they can signal any cars that are coming if we are crossing and we are you know getting in the way see that uh, one wheel rider who already crossed so they can kind of check it out and scope it out before the other riders cross the street so that's kind of how it works in these group rides there's always someone who crosses first to scope things out or make sure to signal these cars while we cross and we are crossing here there's my daughter there's my husband we are making a left turn here we are leaving old settlers park to go back to rab house where we started and we are heading towards highway 79 which is east palm valley boulevard so we are getting towards close to the end of this video because like i had said my camera actually had stopped because i ran out of battery so it's not going to make it all the way to rab house but it's as much as I could have on that video footage. And like I said before, don't worry. I will. I have a, more video footage of this exact ride with this group. I believe I just shot uh, video footage last weekend on the same ride. So you will see the entire thing because I actually have four batteries now for my GoPro Hero 8. So here we're just kind of getting close together, making sure that we're in the middle. And now here we are, we're going, we're crossing the street. I'm right behind my daughter here and my husband. This is uh, East Palm Valley Boulevard, Highway 79 to get back to Rab House. And like I said before, um, it's okay to do this with experienced riders in a group if you feel comfortable riding, but do not do this yourself alone or with a small group if you're just with your family if you've never done this and you don't have the experience riding okay and you know that was the first time i did it i was really scared but now i've done it so many times you know being on these group rides uh, here's kalahari boulevard here um, we're going to be crossing that uh, it's actually a thrill for me to actually cross that now as long as we do it safely that's the thing Okay, so we are getting towards the end of the um, the ride here. This is where my camera shuts off. We made a right-hand turn. So before we go, I just want to say thank you so much for watching EUC in Austin. Please subscribe and like our channel. Let your family and friends know about us. You can find us EUC in Austin. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time. Bye.